Okay, what we're going to do today is uh, we're actually going to make some pulled pork in the Master Build electric smoker. Actually, I say today, but it's going to be tomorrow. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm preparing it the day before. And what we've got here is a, a piece of the hog that's actually the shoulder. It's referred to as the Boston butt. And with the Boston butt, it's actually not a butt at all. It's actually higher up on the shoulder. And it was referred to, it was called a butt because of the fact with it being a less desirable, fattier piece of meat, the butchers used to take them and just throw them into these large wooden barrels. And at the time they were called butts, the barrels were. So that's how it got its name. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put some yellow mustard on here, some brown sugar, and some of the Kenny Bears barbecue rub, which I've got a, another bottle of. And as you can see, the butt right here has already been pretty well trimmed up. And it's actually very lean, which I'm used to there being a pretty big fat cap on here. See, that's how they took the, that, that much off. I'm just going to get the rest of it off right here, kind of trim it down. Most of it just melts into the bottom anyway, to the bottom of the pan. So... Okay, the first thing we're going to do is actually put some just basic yellow mustard on here. It says Deli Market, but that's just a name brand. It's not a Deli Mustard. I'm going to take that. I'm just going to put it all over it. And all that's going to do is it's going to help the sugar and the rub to stick. Actually, you know what? Smear the mustard around on it some. you like making messes, barbecuing is definitely uh, something you'll enjoy. You definitely have to get your hands dirty. I thought about getting some rubber gloves on before I did this, but seeing as how I'm right next to the sink, you can rinse them off easy enough. Tried to pre-portion the seasoning and the sugar out to make it a little bit easier. As you can see, I've coated it with the mustard. And the mustard really is not going to add any flavoring to it at all with the amount of time that it cooks and the power of the, the different rubs. It actually cooks right off. Should have gotten a bigger roll of napkins, paper towels. And we got the brown sugar, just half of it, top side. Now actually I think the uh, Kenny Bears barbecue rub has some brown sugar in it, but uh, my wife seems to like everything sweet, which that's one of the things that kind of attracted her to the, the Kenny Bears barbecue rub when she was down in South Florida at a barbecue and she uh, really seemed to enjoy it, but I know how sweet she likes everything, so never hurts to add sugar. If it's too sweet, she won't complain. Actually, the only thing she complains about is me making this because of the fact that she ends up eating so much of it. Okay, now the sugar's already starting to melt into it. dry rub on here. And you can see there's uh, probably some good uh, paprika in there. You can smell the, the seasoning in it. So yeah, there's a lot of different rubs you see on the shelf and half the time what you're buying is just the label because most of them really don't have much taste but I can tell you with this it definitely gives it a good taste. I've actually when I use this and actually let it sit overnight wrapped up, I've found that the pulled pork is actually delicious without even using any type of sauce afterward, which is something that's different. A lot of people soak it in some sauce after they make it, 
which actually covers up the taste. Let's see if we got enough on there. All right, I think we got a nice mess for my wife to clean up. There we go. All right, now what I'm gonna do is wrap it up. Um, I actually got some uh, Glad, uh, Glad press and seal laid out here. It's a little bit different than Saran Wrap, and actually, that's the end of it. That's how much of it I use. So um, it actually works really good because it actually sticks to itself, where with the Saran Wrap, I've never had that luck. It seemed like I always had problems with it. And take the, uh, the pork butt. Let's uh, lay it on here, and I've got a little bit more rub to put on it. As you can see, it's definitely uh, a favorite, so there's some spots I didn't get. Sometimes it gets stuck in the pan. Maybe I'll get a little bit more in there. All right, and all in there. Rinse my hands off here. feeling I'm gonna be a little short on this but I've actually got one little patch to put in there some luck here, there we go and actually see how well it sticks and what this is gonna do is actually uh, like pretty much like marinating it when you put it in a liquid and uh, it's actually really gonna soak the flavor into it so there it goes, right there. Now it's gonna, uh, I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator till tomorrow. Let's see, it's uh, six o'clock now, so tomorrow morning, probably eight o'clock, about 14 hours from now. Sometimes I let it go as long as 24. Don't let it go and uh, sit more than 24 hours. I think it actually draws some of the moisture, too much of the moisture out. I actually one time did it for uh, 48 hours where I let it sit in the refrigerator like this and the, but did not have any moisture coming off of it. So I really think that it, over 24 hours, whatever salt is um, in the, the rub probably draws the, the, uh, the moisture out of it. So definitely max 24 hours in the fridge and then smoke it. So there it is. And uh, we'll get back to you when we're uh, ready to smoke it. Okay, now it's the, the next morning and I had the uh, Boston Bud in the refrigerator uh, all night long. It's about eight o'clock, which puts it about 14 hours since I had uh, wrapped the butt up. And what I did was I actually set the smoker to go to 225. As you can see, it's still warming up. It's only at 105. You can see where it says that it's heating. I use the remote to set it. Uh, that way I can actually monitor the temperature. And what I did was I actually put it in a pan. Some people put it directly on the rack but I like to put it in the pan because of the fact that it uh, actually holds the juices in there and load it up the wood, just starting to heat up already. And one thing that I've actually gotten on this one, which was a, a great addition, the one thing about the Master Belt electric smoker, with it being an electric smoker and holding such a small amount of wood, it doesn't produce the most amount of smoke out of anything that I've uh, had, but as you can see, I've added on an additional wood smoker that actually just burns the wood and adds smoke to the smoker. It doesn't add heat into the box. And what you do is you actually just load it up right there. And I got uh, mesquite wood in there. And then you just turn it on and it's set and it will actually cook out the, I mean, put out the smoke into the box. And I've set this right now for eight hours. However, eight hours on a Boston butt may cook it, but it doesn't actually get it as tender as you want to be. Um, I think I found that typically about uh, 12 hours gets it to about 190 degrees. So we'll check back in a little bit and see where it's at. Okay, I just wanted to do an update. It's uh, probably gonna be about the halfway point. I actually had to uh, just fill this up with uh, some fresh wood chips. 
uh, it was uh, getting down to the bottom I noticed there wasn't a lot of smoke in it and uh, you can see it's already filling up but you got the pulled pork or what's going to be the pulled pork in here and it's starting to get a nice crust on it which is where a lot of the flavor is you see the juice is really flowing it's one of the things that i really think is advantageous about using a pan is that it really helps keep the juices in it and keep it moist um as you can see um actually i just added another hour to it i initially set it for eight hours and i bumped it up to nine uh, it's heating back up because i turned the open the door so it's still at 225 it's heating up to 225 and um, right now the internal temperature of the meat is 142. Uh, typically what I found is that uh, the guidelines at Master Built says will get you to the point where the meat is cooked but not really fall off the bone that pulled pork uh, type that we want on the Boston butt so to get to the 190 I think it's going to take us about 12 hours. Okay, right now we're right at about the uh, the eight ma hour mark, and as you can see, it's uh, actually pretty much starting to get a crust on the outside of it. So you got the juices in the bottom of the pan, and basically it's stuck at about an internal temperature of 140 some degrees. So what I'm going to do to keep the outside from getting too crispy and dried out is actually wrap it with some aluminum foil going to help keep the heat in and then eventually raise the internal temperature of it in turn keeping the juices in there and not letting it get too too much crusty uh, too, too hard on the outside or uh, too dried out Let's get it wrapped up here like I said it's right at about eight hours which is what I believe they recommend when you cook one of these but I have never had one or heard of anybody doing one in that amount of time on an electric smoker I put the uh, meat probe back into it make sure not to hit the bone got the smoke rolling we're still at a temperature of 225 and what we do is uh, leave it that here for a few hours there you go perfect fit all right closed up and then take this get the remote here then uh, let's set the time we'll move the time up four more hours it's got eight now it's really at about seven hours and 40 minutes so we got uh, let's see one more Oops, set time five so let's see where that takes us that's going to be about 12 hours right now you can see the meat probes re reading the internal temperature at 146 degrees so we'll check it in between now and the five hour mark but uh, we'll see what it does we're trying to get it up to about 190 so that it falls apart okay now we're down to the last part the uh the butt is at 190 degrees and I actually uh, left it in for an additional hour at the 190 degrees. Uh, it didn't elevate much over 191, so I left it right at the 190 degrees, which really makes it tender and should help it fall apart. Uh, sometimes we actually take it and uh, just shred it right here in the juice. There's actually a lot of juice in this one, as you can see, so I'm gonna do it in a separate pan. That really, like I said, boils down to your taste, but right here, or move it over into the other pan and then uh, this is another sloppy part of the job and then I got the little claws to tear it apart you basically if it's moist enough you can just do it with a uh, with a fork which actually these are just big forks you can see I'm not really applying a whole lot of pressure to it and it's just coming apart and I cook down quite a bit once you start getting uh, up above 190 some degrees, you really start rendering the fat and it uh, starts disappearing. So it was good that it stayed right at about 191, kind of kept the fat in there and some of the flavor, a lot of the flavor. And so you can see how easy it was to pull apart and 
finish the rest up here in a minute. Now also I'll save the juices, but just to recap, basically it was just uh, nothing but brown sugar. It was actually light brown sugar and then just regular yellow, yellow mustard, uh, basically the least expensive stuff I can get. And Kenny Bear's barbecue rub, and actually that uh, we get online. That's nothing that you can get in the store. It's got a website on this one, southerngourmetspice.com. And we just order that right online. So normally it gets there, uh, well, we're in Florida, so it's normally about two days before we get it. But uh, basically that's all that it is. Those three ingredients, some aluminum foil and uh, the Masterbuilt electric smoker. So thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed the video.